What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and today I'm coming at you guys with a brand new Top 5 Zombies video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the Top 5 Most Underrated Zombies Maps of All Time. Now this list is my own opinions, and it's comprised of a couple of Zombies Maps that I personally think are a ton of fun to play, but the Zombies community just doesn't give them the attention that they deserve. Now before we do get started with today's video, huge shout out goes to Giovanni Ponce. He commented notification squad on my last video and if you guys would like to be featured in the next one Be sure to drop a like subscribe and turn on notifications Once you guys have done all of that be sure to comment notification squad and I just might give you a shout out So guys with all of that being said let's get started with today's video taking a look at the top five most underrated zombies maps of all time So coming in at the number 5 spot we have Zetsubo no Shima, and I know that this is the map that's going to give me the most hate for including on this list just because it's arguably one of the most hated maps of all time, but personally I don't think it's the worst, and I actually enjoy playing Zetsubo no Shima for a ton of reasons, and I don't think it deserves the hate that it's been getting since its release. Now obviously there are some annoying things about this map, upon its release it was extremely glitchy, there are a bunch of tedious things that you need to do for starting up the map, such as turning on power, opening up pack-a-punch, and things like that, but once you guys get the basic stuff out of the way, Zetsubo no Shima is honestly a pretty easy map. It definitely has the easiest easter egg out of Black Ops 3 zombies aside from the giant, and overall it's a fun map that you can get to high rounds on. On top of that, the plant system on this map was actually a super creative and innovative addition to this game, just because there were a multitude of different plant combinations that you could make, and it definitely added to the replayability of this map, and for those reasons, I definitely think that Zetsubo Zetsubo no Shima was, and still is, a pretty underrated Zombies map. Now at the number 4 spot we have Verrucked, and I know people may be a little bit confused as to why I may have put this on this list, but hear me out. I think that a lot of people see Verrucked as an underrated map just because they don't truly appreciate how scary and honestly what it's done to the Call of Duty Zombies game. First off, in my opinion, this map is the pinnacle of what Zombies is supposed to be like. It's such a creepy and eerie map just because of its location. It's in an abandoned asylum, an insane asylum for that matter. If you can think of a lot of the Zombies movies that they have out there, a lot of them have to do with creepy abandoned hospitals or abandoned asylums, and that's what we have here in this game. Not only that, this map was the first DLC map in World at War. It was the first Zombies map that we got aside from Nocturne Toten, and it introduced a ton of really cool features like the perk machines. Those things contributed to what we see today in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. I absolutely love what Treyarch did with the original version of Verrucked back in World at War. In my opinion, it's the scariest map of all time. Of course, there are a ton of other scary zombies maps that have come out, but World at War's Verrucked I think was the scariest, and because of the origins of what Zombies was, and for the sake of nostalgia, I have to include Verrucked in this list, and I do think it deserves the number 4 spot of being an underrated Zombies map. On top of its innovative contributions to the Zombies game, and it being so scary, I do think that it's a pretty difficult map. It's super small, it's close quarter, and that makes it extremely hard even for some of the top zombie players. So guys, coming in at the number 3 spot we have Transit. Now I personally really enjoy playing this map, and I know that there's a lot of people in the Zombies community that enjoy this map as well. At the same time, I do think that there are a lot of people that have hopped on the bandwagon to hate this map, just because some zombie YouTubers have constantly pushed the idea that Transit is a bad map. I'm gonna have to respectfully disagree. Obviously, there are things about Transit that make it a bad map. It's by no means the best Zombies map of all time, at the same time, Transit sought to push the limits of what Zombies was capable of at the time. There are a ton of super creative and innovative ideas about Transit. The buildables, the bus system, the weapon locker storage. These are things about Zombies that we can later see added into Black Ops 3 Zombies, and I absolutely love what Treyarch did with Transit. My favorite thing of all time about Transit is in fact the bus. The bus is so central to the gameplay of this map, especially on 
on early rounds, and I love playing this map with friends. Just because if everyone hops on the bus and one friend forgets to get on the bus, you can laugh at him as he's running after the bus, getting chased by zombies and the denizens in the fog. Transit is a fun map, it's a difficult one, but it's fun, and I love playing it, and that's why I think it deserves the number 3 spot on our underrated zombies map list. So guys, coming in at the number 2 spot, we have Shadows of Evil. This was the first ever Black Ops 3 Zombies map that we received, aside from the giant, and it was teased to us two years ago. The first ever teaser for Shadows of Evil was brought to us in July of 2015, and it's super cool to look back and see where Black Ops 3 Zombies started and where it currently is right now. Now, I actually went back and completed the Shadows of Evil Easter egg not too long ago, and it made me realize how fun this map actually is. There are a ton of super awesome features about this map. The sword, the transit system, the guns, the keepers, the rituals, the Easter egg, the storyline itself. Shadows of Evil is super cool because it's not too hard of a map, at the same time it's not too easy. There are a ton of things about Shadows of Evil that make it a very fun map. I love the storyline behind it and even though it doesn't really relate to the Ultimus or the Primus timeline, we see that bleed into that Primus and Ultimus timeline later on in the easter egg. Another really cool thing about this map which makes it fun, a little bit difficult and definitely replayable is that the perks change locations every single game. Juggernaug, Double Tap, and Speed Cola don't spawn in the same districts every single game, and that's what makes it fun, that's what makes it interesting and exciting. Shadows of Evil definitely set the bar pretty high in my opinion for Black Ops 3 Zombies, so that's why I think it deserves the number 2 spot on our underrated Zombies Maps list. So guys, coming in at the number 1 spot, we have my all-time favorite Black Ops 1 Zombies map, 5. I absolutely love this map, and I think it's the most underrated Zombies map of all time. 5 was so much fun to play, it had a lot of very creative and innovative ideas that were brought to Zombies. We had the Pentagon Thief, we had the Bonfire Sail Drop, we had the Winter's Howl Wonder Weapon, we had the Elevators, and these Elevators were so central to the gameplay, and it was super fun playing with friends because you could always lock friends out of the Elevator, take it to a different floor, they could use one of the Teleporters to get to that floor before you. 5, in my opinion, was the most fun Black Ops 1 Zombies map. It was a very hard and difficult map. At the same time, if you look at it from a storyline perspective, 5 really isn't that central to our overall zombie storyline. At the same time, we can see the premise or the Ultimus timeline bleed into this dimension because the Pentagon Thief was actually from Ascension and Samantha had sent him to the Pentagon to wreak havoc in this dimension to allow the Dark Aether to infiltrate the Pentagon and I love playing this map, it's so much fun. As I said, I think it's the most underrated zombies map of all time. But let me know in the comment section below what your top 5 underrated zombies maps are of all time. I'm very curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. With all of that being said, I'll be sure to catch you guys later.